Anything man can do. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into the next video. What have men ever done for us that has been worth keeping them around? Seriously. You want to ask that question? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I am so tired of our society pretending like men don't matter, like masculinity doesn't matter. They do. You do. I love that. You know, finally, see, conservative women are just leaps and bounds above the rest of these nut jobs. What she said is 100% true. It's funny. We don't have to play games against one another. Women matter. The things that women do are valuable in society. And the same thing about men. The things that men do are invaluable in our society. And women wouldn't be able to do the things men do. And men can't do what women do. Why can't we just get along? God dang. I know, right? You would think that would be easy. When you consider all the jobs that you just saw between both clips are primarily done by men, keep the infrastructure going, but you know what? This reminds me of something that Myron says a lot. Privilege is blind to those that have it. And I think this, you can apply that to this topic because it has become so comfortable that women don't even realize that the very same gender that they want to blame everything on is the very same gender that's keeping the world that's keeping the world running and keeping you comfortable to, that way you don't have to worry about your lights going out or something crazy or the unthinkable happening but i digress let's keep it moving they could not handle society's scrutiny if they decided to be a stay-at-home husband or stay-at-home dad and like that's not my problem this is honestly the level of delusion that i aspire to obtain one day because you have to be absolutely delulu to think that men are jealous of women when women have spent the last 30 to 40 years trying to become men and competing with men in every single thing that they do and let's be honest here, the only people that are judging other women about being a stay-at-home mother is other women. And then she has the audacity to say that the men cannot handle the scrutiny of being a stay-at-home mother. Again, the scrutiny comes from other women, not from the men. If there's scrutiny, it's because your husband is mad at you for not holding up your end of the bargain when y'all got married and you decided to be a stay-at-home mother. Men to say that men can't handle a certain level of scrutiny when literally everything a man does is under a microscope and under scrutiny. His height, his wages, what he brings to the table, how he manages the finances, what he does with his kids, what he doesn't do with his kids. Every little thing that a man does is under some kind of scrutiny from society. And then he gets to come home to somebody that claims to love him and 
she bitches him the fuck out and then gets on social media and cries about it and basically uses weaponized incompetence against him, but yet men can't handle the same level of scrutiny. Make it make sense. Okay, bye. Really, I'm like, for you to even have the nerve to say that men can't handle any level of scrutiny, <clears throat> um, ma'am, y'all women can't handle scrutiny, period. Like, seriously. Men are, men say water is wet and y'all getting y'all feelings. <laughs> Stop it. Let's keep it moving. I actually think men are great. Men actually made the rights that you guys all have. Men literally wrote the Constitution. Well, they no, I'm serious. I would have loved to be there. Too. I just want to put that out there because I think that women hate on men so much, and I hate on everyone. And there's no right that men have that I don't have. So, and you guys too. So, so but, all that I'm saying is that, and I just want to say one more thing. Submission sounds it gets a bad rap because it sounds like sounds oh bad. we're letting the guy like walk all over us. I, I actually don't think that that's it at all. You notice how that Kiko chick, they call her Rage Quick, Rage Quick Kiko. Notice how she said, oh, I, I, I hate on everyone. No, you don't. You just said that to try to justify you hating, hating men. Because you clearly hate men. Because if you hated on everyone, you wouldn't have been taken up. You wouldn't have been taken up so much for uh, what y'all call a Gorlock the Destroyer. The, um, God, I don't know what that... I don't know what it is, but whatever that thing was. All right, I'm I'm being bad, man. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> Construction workers, like I would agree that yeah, men should do these jobs, but when it comes to like white collar jobs, like I think women are just as capable and intelligent and True, but they get work uh, and that's they really to sexist it. of you to say that <laughs> men should do the dangerous, dirty, difficult. I think work men are on average. Bigger, what work, work? Can you name many women who you know in your friend group who are willing to work 80 hours per week on something? I could name several men who are in my circle who do that versus most women. We're exhausted. I mean, I know doing some, an average and... 40 hour week. That's why most women are going to OnlyFans because they can't even work a fucking restaurant job. They can't even oh, work I a was... 40 hour per week job. So they go and they do OnlyFans and yet we're here fighting about women's natural Work ethic and proclivity to be able to achieve the same results. I mean, as you, you just assume like you're not that to put in the work. you're assuming that I only do like only fans. No, she didn't assume that that was the only thing you did. What she did was she said that a lot of women are turning to OnlyFans because the reality is a lot of y'all don't want to work a forty hour job, a forty hour week job. A lot of y'all don't want to work a nine to five. Period. That's why y'all either get into stuff like OnlyFans or you're requiring a man to pay for your lifestyle. That seems to be today's culture. I, men didn't do that. Y'all did. Let's keep it moving. Uh, what would you say to all the women that say never depend on a man? I'd say, well, see how it's worked out for women in, in the past hundred years, you know, high suicide rates and depression rates, anxiety. It has not worked out well for a woman that self-love feminism it's just ended up in women being sadder than ever so if they want to try it out they can go ahead but it's not a happy ending at least the numbers don't show that uh i think we have the highest percentage of women on some kind of psych med nowadays because i know uh there was a video that came out that said i think i did a, i think i um brought that up on one of my last videos um Apparently, women are happier um, single and childless, the older women are, uh, when in reality, that stat isn't true either. Because I thought about that, like, hold on, how could that stat possibly be true when there's more women on psych meds than ever now? So it just goes to show you, man, that, hey, propaganda is a real thing, bro. Got to be careful out here. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape, Neo Trap Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any of the merch, Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.